Dude, how about the hand speed on this guy? Certainly good fighters feel like they can beat speed with timing and precision, but it's hard to get a beat on this guy. And with the punches and bunches and the combinations which keep on coming, a lot of guys are gonna succumb to that accumulation of punches. He's got the power to go with the speed. This guy, a five-tool player on the feet, but the hand speed certainly is what jumps off the film. This guy has some of the best guard passing in all of mixed martial arts. His technique and the speed of his execution is outstanding. So as this guy makes the walk here tonight, let's talk about the kicking technique. It is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph anything. He gets his foot to the target blindingly fast. Shades of Edson Barboza, the foot off the canvas to the target as quick as anyone you'll ever see. Guys don't even see it coming. His opponent's certainly weary of those lightning fast kicks coming into the octagon tonight. This guy has outstanding defense and having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 25 years old. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. As you can see first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Marseille, France, Russia. And now he his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 223 pounds. Fighting out of Baldur's Ukraine, the great! And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, we are underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Some of the best MMA fans in the world, certainly the loudest, and they have packed the building here tonight. Straight right, he misses. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but... Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it, so let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Inside control, tying up that arm, looking for the Kimura. He adjusted the arm bar. Break the grip. And the that will do it! Great job, didn't waste any time, took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He wanted to be efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 24 seconds of the very first round. To claim the winner by tap out, the great. Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's gonna be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is...